Tonight, come and change my destiny, my destiny tonight. Powerful changer, you are my powerful changer. Please come and change my destiny. Destiny today, Alatata. Let's come and change my destiny, Kalabosha. Destiny tonight. You are the story changer. You are my story changer, Kalabosha. Oh, come and change my story. My story tonight, Kalabosha Oh, come and change my story, Kalabosha Oh, your name is Yah. speak for personal encounters. Let my heart have personal encounters. Let my spirit have personal encounters. Let my heart have personal encounters. Let my soul have personal encounters. Let my life have personal encounters. Personal encounter. Personal encounter with your spirit. Personal encounter with your power. Personal encounter with your grace. Personal encounter. Personal encounter. Personal encounter. Personal encounter. Personal encounter. Let my heart personally encounter. Allah Let my soul personally encounter. Let my spirit personally encounter. Let my call personally encounter. Let my health. 
personally encounter you. Raise your voice and speak. Let me personally, personally, personally. I want to personally, 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 Cause 
glory. Katala Mosoto, let it fall. Kalabosha Kanda. Baba, we are in your presence. Let it rain. Daddy, let your rain. Let your rain fall on. Your presence, let it rain. Come to God, I set up cause your rain. Masi breaka, let it fall. Halabosha mani breaka. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Say I'm in your presence. Let the rain fall personally. Lord, let the rain fall personally. Let it rain for personally in my family. Let it rain for personally in my house. Let it rain for personally in my soul. Let it rain for personally in my spirit. Let it rain for personally in my core. Let it rain for personally, personally, personally in my spirit. I want to feel the rain. I want to feel the rain. I want to feel the rain. Oh, I want to feel the rain. I want to feel the rain. I want to see the rain. I want to feel the rain. I want to see the rain. Lala Bosha, 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 I want the red person. Lala Bosha, Lala Bosha, Lala Bosha, Lala Bosha, Lala Bosha, Lala Baba, 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 to take over this place, take over this place, Holy Ghost. We're going to speak to the Holy Spirit. Raise your voice and raise your hand. Holy Ghost, take over this place. Give people experience. Give people experience in the Father. Give people experience in the power of the Father. Give people experience in the love of the Father. Give people experience in the grace of the Father. Give people experience in the might of the Father. Give people experience in the wonder of the Father. Lord, give people experience. Let families have experience. New experience. Life-changing experience. Let individuals have experience. Let marriages have experience. Let finances have experience. Lord, let businesses have experience. Let individuals, uh, let calls, uh, let hearts, let spirits uh, come, Lord. Let there be experience in this place. 
Let there be multiple encounters. Let there be multiple encounters. Multiple encounters. Multiple encounters. Multiple experience giving encounters. Endless, endless, endless encounters that bring about endless experience. Give me all. Give me all. Give me all. New expression of experience. New expression of salvation. New expression of sanctification. New expression of elevation. New expression of lifting. Lord, new experience. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your right hand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over principalities and power, over every foul spirit, over every opposition, over every form of manifestation of darkness. Say, I bind Satan and all his principalities and powers. I bind demons and all their antics. I forbid their oppression in my family, in my life, in this place, concerning my life. Open your mouth and begin to say, I bind our brutes, I overthrow, and I cast out every foul spirit. There is no place, there is no space in this place, no accommodation for Satan, no accommodation for foulness, no accommodation for darkness, no accommodation, no accommodation for evil. No accommodation for manipulation. No accommodation for any form, for any form of projection, of, of, of distortion. In the name of Jesus, no accommodation for adulteration and corruption. No accommodation for infiltration. This place is filled with the fire of God. We are surrounded by His glory. This night, only Jesus reigns. He reigns in your home. He reigns in your house. He reigns in this place. He reigns in every spirit here, in every soul, in everybody here. Jesus reigns. Jesus reigns. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, speak to me personally. Cause something of your glory to be birthed in my spirit. In my Jesus, in Jesus' name. Are you sure you don't want to go and sleep? Are you sure you are, you are supposed to be here? Because the way you pray is like you are being forced to be here. Can we take a break? Let those who need to go and sleep. Can you go and sleep so that we move forward? Okay, be seated, be seated. Let the microphone be in the hands of Sarah who can minister. I don't mean those who sing. So that when it's time to pray, people can come up here and pray. So, those who are children who need to go and sleep, they need to go and sleep. When we talk about encounter, it's not for children, it's for those who need experience. Genesis chapter 27. Genesis chapter 27, part of it talks about The day that Isaac was to hand over the mantle of the covenant blessing that God, Yahweh, gave to Abraham, Isaac perceived it was close to his death and he wanted to hand over that battle, that baton, that baton to another person, that mantle to another person, that blessing to another person. And so he demanded that a price be paid. Anything that would change a generation, anything that would change an individual, involves a price. The blessing that was handed over to him, it was his turn to hand over. Paul says freely, just as I said, freely you are, give, you are given, freely give, give freely, give freely. So God gives you freely, but to receive, you pay a price. I give you freely, but to receive, you pay a price. There is no demand that you, that, oh, you need to bring this for me to, 
minister to you, for me to bless you. I receive freely from God. I give freely. But for you to receive, I give. But to receive, I give. To receive. You can be given, but you, can, you don't receive. Giving is dependent on the one who gives. But receiving is the act of the one who has to receive. So somebody who has power to give, who has resources to give, can give to you. But you don't have capacity to receive. The capacity to receive is called sacrifice, paying the price. You pay the price to receive. Isaac said, go make me that, that delicious thing, that one that I love to eat. And after, when I eat it, my soul will be blessed. And I will bless you. And I will bless you. So to receive the firstborn from this revelation, the firstborn is the one who will pay the price. Pay the price of receiving. The firstborn, when it comes to the order, the administration of the heavenly kingdom, the firstborn is not biological experience. The firstborn is beyond that. Who has the capacity to receive? Who has the intentionality, the maturity? Who has the tenacity? Who has the ability to receive? Is the firstborn. And eventually, he saw the biological firstborn went. But by the help of the mother, Jacob, the one who was not qualified biologically and naturally, he gave, he paid the price. How we paid it, we know how we paid it. Helped by the, the mother, he brought the price to the father. And because he paid the price by nature, because by the order of the administration, the economy of God's blessing, Isaac had already given. So it was to be given. The firstborn was to be the one to lay claim, to lay hold, to take hold. The one who will stretch forward into it will be the firstborn. I want you to understand the scripture. So Jacob came. His voice was the voice of Jacob. He pretended to be Esau. The most important thing is that the one, what was the most important thing was not the voice or the smell or anything. It was, he did not say when you speak like Esau, when you speak like my firstborn, I will bless you. He didn't say when you smell like my firstborn, I will bless you. He said when you bring me that which I love and I eat and I will bless you. A different person with a different voice who pretended, a pretender paid the price, received the blessing. My interest is not to talk about that blessing. My interest is in verse 36 down. After Jacob had been blessed, he saw the natural honor the one who had the natural ownership of the blessing showed up. And the father said, ah, who is this one? What is, who is this? Who are you, my son? Who are you? Who are you? He said, ah, I'm your firstborn. Who are you? Verse 33. Then Isaac trembling exceedingly and said, who? Where is the one who hunted game and brought it to me? I ate all of it before you came. And I blessed him. And indeed he shall be blessed. Because... He paid the price. He shall be blessed. Yes. Not a very good person, but he paid the price. He shall be blessed. Not qualified according to your imagination and your thinking, but he paid the price. He stretched himself and I blessed him and he shall be blessed. Verse 34, when he saw, heard the words of his father, he cried with an exceedingly great and bitter cry and said to his father, bless me. Me also, oh my father. But he said, your brother came with the seed and has taken away your blessing. Taken away your blessing. He has taken away your blessing. And Esau said, 
Is it not rightly named Jacob? For he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and now look, he has taken away my blessing. And he said, Have you not reserved a blessing for me? Let me see that in NIV. What does that say in NIV? He says, Have you, have you, haven't you reserved any blessing for me? Is there no other blessing left for me? Let me see that in NLT. Let me see that in another version of the Bible. Haven't you saved even one blessing for me? In other words, so all the blessings have been taken. All the blessings have been taken. No other blessing. No other blessing. So no other, no other blessing. Have you no, not reserved a blessing for me? Verse 37. Then Isaac answered and said to Esau, Indeed, I have made him your master and all his brethren. <laughs> I have given to him as a servant. With grain and wine, I have sustained him. What shall I do now for you? It means I don't have another blessing for you. But the scripture in Philippians chapter 3, verse 14, says something. In the economy of the New Testament, after one blessing, there is another blessing. That's all I wanted to say. After the blessing you missed, if you can press forward, there is another blessing ahead. There is no emptiness ahead. If you can press forward, say press forward. I'm just going to pretend that you are serious enough to be here and that you don't need any motivation to speak. Sincerely, I'm just going to pretend. I'm just, just going to pretend like you know why you are here. So, I just want to let you know that in the New Testament, that there is blessing ahead. There is still blessing ahead. Verse 14. Verse 14. Verse 14. I press toward the goal for the price of the old world call. Go to verse 13. Verse 13. Verse 13. I press. Brethren, I do not count myself... I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things like what Jacob took, like what my brother spoiled, like what my father, what my mother, what my mistake, what my foolishness took from me, those things that are behind. I reach forward to things, those things which are ahead. Shout blessings ahead. Yeah. Esau needed to hear this. I don't know what he heard eventually, finally. But if you ask, Jesus Christ is telling you that there are, there are opportunities ahead. If you lost anointing and became empty, if you can press forward, you shall meet anointing again. If you can press forward, there is favor ahead. If you can press forward, there is fresh, there is fresh anointing, fresh limit, fresh exalt. There is fresh experience. If you can press forward, rise to your face and say, I press forward. I press for what I do not have yet. I press for what I have not had yet. I press for the things I hope for. I press for the things beyond what I know. I press. I press for what is ahead. I press for what is ahead. I press for what is ahead. I say, I press for what is ahead. Say, I am here because of what is ahead. I am here because there are more things ahead of me. I am here. Because there are new things ahead of me. I am here. Because there are bigger things ahead of me. Kalabo shatata. Labasho brekata. Landa kapole brakata. I am here. Because there are fresh moments ahead of me. I am here. Because there is another season ahead of me. I am here because there is a new season. In front of me I am here because there is a new time in front of me I am here because there is a new encounter in front of me speak in those words say I am here because there is a new opportunity yeah yes I was I was careless and I missed something but there is something I heard from me 
Lakata, Lebrakato, Lebasa Katata. I was not aggressive enough and I lost something, but I am pressing ahead. There's something I hear. Lakata to Lemasoto Prekata. Yes, I was, I was rejected yesterday, but there is acceptance ahead. La sikato, le makapa la brasikato, le masipraknanda, la brasoto melekata. There was delay, there is delay behind me, but there is this speed in front of me. I press forward, my call presses forward, la katatote, my call presses forward, la sikata la brakato, my call presses forward. La katala masi brakato, my call presses forward. La masi katala brakata, my spirit presses forward. Loso tole brakata, my life presses forward. La maso preknanda, la si prekato, mande tolo bashata la brakato. I press forward. La si kato, I press forward. La masi prekato, I press forward. La masi kata. I press on. Lama soto prekata. I press on. Lakata prala. The whole of this compound is in the fire of the Holy Ghost. The only operation is pressing forward into salvation, pressing forward into deliverance, pressing forward into liberty. Lakata ta ta ta. Say I press forward. La ribrakata. I press forward. La brakanda. I press on, la maso to prekata. I press on, mando to prekata. La maso prekata, le maso ndo, mende pre maso to. I press on, la sikata. There is still some blessing ahead, so I press on. There is still some joy ahead, so I press on. There is still some help ahead, so I press on. There is still some lifting ahead, so I press on. There is still some joy ahead, so I press on. There's still salvation ahead. I press forward. There's still exaltation ahead. I press forward. Glory to God. La Pashata. Libra Kanda. Sekatola Maso Prekata. La Brakata. Maso Prekata. Nandiana. Eddie Jesus. Kalabasha Kata. Eddie in all, come from Sakato Masaprekato, come from Come from Come from Sakata Pralato, come from Come from Come from Labrakato, and the younger Jesus Calabra Sakato. Ediana in all came from Calaboshakata, came from, came from, came from Calabosha. It's free, it's free. Press forward, it is free. Calabosha, Masoto, oh, and the young.
you will look for somebody and hold the hand of somebody and pray somebody and tell somebody whether you like it or not your, your life will encounter fresh experiences fresh experience fresh experience fresh experience, fresh experience. there is another there is another in fact this is a time just hold the hand of somebody you can somebody you want to somebody you want to somebody you choose to we're going to say in the name of Jesus, let your life tonight encounter another 
another of what you have lost another of what you have been waiting for let your life encounter higher things deeper things let your life encounter things ahead of you things ahead of you things beyond what is behind you things deeper than what is behind of you things greater than what is behind you things greater fiercer say in the name of jesus let your life enter into a new encounter let the angel of your encounter manifest tonight let the oil of your encounter break forth tonight let the revelation of your encounter come forth tonight let the wellspring of your new experience be unsealed tonight whatever you have lost whatever your life needs ahead of you let I command your womb, Lassi Prekata, encounter fresh experience. Lassi Kato Malibra, experience ahead of you in matters of the womb, experience ahead of you in matters of the spirit, experience ahead of you in matters of salvation. What is ahead of you? Come forth. Pray. Say tonight is your night. Let what is ahead of you show up tonight. What are the things ahead that have been designed to lift you? What are the things ahead that have been designed to bless you? What are the things ahead that are positioned to change you? What are the things ahead that have been programmed to turn your life around? In your army, this is the time. Kata lebrato lema kata tata lema sika pralato lama somende prekata matonda preliando topre kapole masika tolebra. La masika taliando topre. Kalamondo topre atala. Lebrasi kato melianda ta. La kapala masoto prekanda. Leato. Let the glory ahead come forth. La sika pralata. Let the blessing ahead come forth. Lebra kando soto. Let the lifting ahead come forth. What is it ahead of you? Lamakato. Tonight is the night to plunge into what is ahead. Tonight is the night to step into what is ahead. Rise into your blessing. Rise into another level. Rise into your change. Rise into your change. Rise into your change. Rise into your change. Step into your breakthrough. Step into your deliverance. Step into your release. Step into your freedom. Step into your glory. Shala katototo. La katima siprakanda. La siyama doto prekata. Awake my soul. Katatata. I awake what is ahead of me. La sikata. Awake what is ahead of me. La siyaprakata. 
I work what is ahead of me. La I wake, I wake, I wake, I wake. La cata. Ea tata. Le braço to. La masi precata. Le masso precana. La cata to 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 to. La tapra la cato messe. La cata masso no to precata. La cata masso precanda. La capole masso precata. Le masso precanda. La cata tapa la bocha pra. La masi precato. La masse que te a la toma sipra, malabra clando. Your destiny has been waiting for this time, la cata. Your name has been waiting for this time, la cata prelato. Your purpose has been waiting for this time, la cata ya tata. Your season, la cata. Your life, le bracato. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear your amen like fire. Yeah. Satata. Sotobre le kata. La mason do to pre kata. Landa te pre yando to pre kata. La sapre makando. Le branando to mesi amatoma la prakato. La capala no somme de prakata. Landa to man de preclando. La siato me catala brasso to. La catiando to me liando se pre. Le brasso manda cata. Glory to God. Libra. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be seated. We have prayer to pray, but let's get some revelation. You see, you're showing up tonight is specifically. A responsibility in in preparation. Preparation is the responsibility of the one who wants to receive. Preparation is the responsibility of the one who wants to receive. Preparation is the proof of readiness. The proof of readiness that you want to receive. The readiness to receive. Preparation is a proof of readiness to receive. I told you, gi being given something is not the same thing as receiving something. You can be given something, but you never receive something. If you go to the presence of God, you say, but I gave you. The problem is that you didn't receive. Paul says, laying hold. Not that I have already taken hold. He was called for those things. But he said, I have not yet taken hold. So the taking hold is the receiving. The giver gives freely. So they, there can be distance between eternity and time. And distance that can be 20 years, 30 years, something that was given to you 30 years ago. 30 years later, you have not yet received. Why? You've not come to the place of responsibility in preparation. You've not yet come to the place of readiness. This is why if you ask God to say, I have blessed you. But I have not seen the blessing. I, I have blessed you. You go to somebody and say, oh, you are so blessed. Yes, you have been blessed, but you have not yet taken hold. You've not yet fulfilled the protocol of receiving. So sitting, this is, this is about 21 minutes past 12 in the night. So we have entered into another day. This can be just because you were told to come. But this can be an intentional act of saying I'm ready. I'm ready to move to the next level. I'm ready. I'm ready to experience new things because the scripture says leaving behind forgetting what is behind me I press forward leaving behind forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to things which are ahead so if I ask you what are the things which are ahead 
What are the things I heard? Do you know? You don't. You don't. But what you know is that you can prepare. So let's talk about in two, con in two circumstances in the Bible. In two contexts in the Bible. Let's play on what was ahead that people had to prepare for. But they had no idea what they were preparing for. So tonight, if you enter into the mystery and the protocol and the economy of preparation of readiness, the point is that you don't even know what God wants to do. You don't even know how far he wants to take you. You don't even know how far a night like this can take you. You don't even know how far a moment like this, a season like this can, will take you. Yours is just to prepare. Mark chapter 14 is the gospel narrative for the last supper experience of Jesus. Mark chapter 14 verse 12 now on the first day of unleavened bread and by the blessing of the grace of God we are walking through the first day experience now on the first day of unleavened bread when they killed the Passover lamb I like the word Passover Say, shout Passover. Passover and tomorrow shall be an experience of Passover because communion will be will be received. We shall break the bread in communion and then we can lay hold. So we'll visit places tomorrow and demand Passover. Crossing from one realm to another. Crossing time zones in the spirit. Crossing time zones in the spirit. Taking things spiritually and waking up physically with them. Lesikata. You know, when you hear that, somebody said, I, I, I fought in the dream. I fought in the dream and I, a dog beats me. I don't know whether you have ever heard somebody beaten in the, by the dog in a dream and waking up to physical sign of a bite, dog bite. And people will say, that's nonsense. Yeah, you, you have not seen it. I have not seen it. As a young believer, I know about dream manipulation. I have 30, at least 32, 32 years, 32, 33 years experience of dream manipulation. As a young believer, I came into understanding that eating in the dream is not just as innocent as like you were hungry and psychologically you went to bed dreaming about food. It's an administration of weakness to weaken, dampen your spirit so that the enemy can dominate you and affect your life negatively. So, soon after, I met Christ in 1991, 1992, I began to have strange encounters against prayers and against rising in the spirit. And part of it operated in dreams of eating, eating. You will fast, you will pray, you go to bed and you will see yourself eating in the dream. And that's not all. I will wake up in the morning with stomach protruded and with all sorts of noises and all sorts like, like tempest in your stomach after that experience. That was when I also discovered the power of communion, Holy Communion. So all I will do is I'll just say, oh, wait for me, morning mass. I will attend morning mass as a young Catholic. And as I receive communion, I also receive intentionally. Say, whatever it is that I had encounter with in the dream that affects me, and after receiving communion, quiet. That was my first experience of the power in communion, holy communion. This, this is like 32 years ago. 32 years ago. So I'm talking about this is, this is a season of taking things spiritually and crossing into physical with them in your hand. Even though you may not see physically but you know you have, you have taken something from the spiritual and you cross the time zones of the spiritual levels into the real time when those things are needed. This is this is, this is Spiritual oppression that is expected of somebody who can lay hold. So now on the first day of the feast, 
Jesus Christ said, where do you, the disciple, his disciples said to him, where do you want us to go and prepare that you may eat the Passover? So they were interested in preparing. And for them, what were they preparing for? What were they preparing they were preparing for a normal feast of the Jews where Jesus would sit with them and eat the traditional meal of the Passover. That was what was expected. They did not know what was in front of them by that preparation. They knew their preparation, but they did not know what that preparation would lead to. All I'm just trying to let you know is that you just know that you are praying in the night. You just know that you are sitting down here in a camp and you are going to have a few hours of sleep. But what you don't know is what is ahead of you. Paul says there are things ahead. You don't know what is ahead of you. The magnitude of what is ahead of you. The numberlessness of what is ahead of you. The weightiness of what is ahead of you. The brightness of what is ahead of you. The wealth of what is ahead of you. The power of what is ahead of you. And he sent out two of his disciples, verse 13. And said to them, go into the city and a man will meet you. Carrying a pitcher of water, follow him. And wherever he goes in, say to the master of the house. Of the, house the teacher says, where is the guest room in which I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large upper room, furnished and prepared. There, made ready for us. Say, make ready. Shout it louder. Say, make ready. That's it. Preparation is readiness. That's what preparation does. Prepare means make ready. Make ready for us. He didn't say make ready for me. They say, Jesus, where will you want us to prepare so that you may eat Passover? But just like I say, when you prepare, it's no longer about me. It's about us. Make ready for me. Us means it shall be a together experience. When you are ready, God dines with you. When you are ready, God shares with you. When we talk about communion, you see, when just like I went into that upper room, he was in that upper room, he took bread, broke it and said, this is my body, which is given up for you. Did they know that what they were preparing for was that the body of Jesus will be for them and that what they would drink will not be ordinary wine, but the blood of Jesus Christ? So when we say communion, what is communion? Communion is sharing together. Communion is taking and giving and receiving. So when he says make ready for us means I'm going to give to you and I will receive from you. So in that communion, Jesus gave them his body and took their sorrow. Jesus gave them his body. He gave them his body and took their shame. So because communion, every sharing, when you share, it means you leave something and take something. He left his body, took their own bodies, took their own infirmities. He left his body, took their shame, took their disgrace, took the weakness of Peter, took their fears ahead. He left his body. He said, make ready for us. So tonight, uh, in this preparation, it's not just about you. It's not just about him. It's about you and him as us. It means in this preparation, you make room for, for encounter, for experience that will allow God give you joy and take sorrow. Give you peace and take fear. Give you weak, give you strength and take weakness. Give you give you give you wealth and take poverty. Give you holiness and take filthiness. Shout Jesus. Do you know what is ahead of you? You don't. So when you prepare, you allow God to be more than you know. This is the mystery of readiness. He said, make ready for us. Make ready for us. They were asking, where will we, where, where will we prepare for you to eat? But he said, make ready for us. Because tonight we shall have an us experience. Experience for us. 
where what is mine, when what, what is mine will become yours, uh, and what is yours will become mine. So that night Jesus took the sin of the world. Uh, he took it from his disciples. Uh, when he took from his disciples, uh, the disciples gave him the sin of the world uh, on behalf of me, on behalf of my grandchildren till the last generation, on behalf of my ancestors, uh, on behalf of the men of the future, on behalf of the Americans, the Asians, the Australians, the New Zealanders, on behalf of the Americans, uh, uh, on behalf of Europeans, uh, uh, on behalf of Africans, on behalf of Nigerians, on behalf of Aquibans. So he took from them. So as he gave them the body, he gave me to. They were the representative. The twelve were the representative of the fullness of the tribe of Israel. And the blessing was to come from the tribe of Israel. And so when God blessed Abraham, he said, Through you, all the nations of the world shall be blessed. So those twelve disciples, they were representative of both Abraham and then and then the whole nations of the world so they were the representative of every tribe that will be saved of every nation so before you get to revelation chapter 5 from verses 8 9 10 for by your blood you have ransomed us from every tribe every tongue every nation every people and you have made us priests and kings to serve our god and we shall reign on earth the twelve were representative. So when Jesus gave them his body, he also took something from them. Whatever he gave to them becomes mine. So when I eat communion, it's not the communion they give me. It's the communion that, they, that was handed over to them. But Paul said, what was handed over to me is what I handed over to you. That before he died, he took the bread. So it was given to them for me. They knew one day I will show up. They knew one day I will come. So it was given to them. And so when Jesus took from them, because in every communion, there is a giving and a receiving. When the body was given to them, the bondage was taken from them. The communion was given to them for me. And the bondage was taken from me through them. So the preparation was for me. So every time we then prepare, whether it is in fasting, whether it is in prayer, whether it's in the, in the revelation of the word of God like this, something happens. It becomes us. It becomes us. Just as it says in Revelation chapter, chapter 3 verse 20, I stand at the door of your heart and I am knocking. I'm knocking. By preparation, you open the door. Whoever opens the door, I will come in and we shall eat together. It means I will bring you what heaven offers and I will take from you what the earth offers. What your ancestry gives you, I will take from you. And what my father gives you, I will give to you. What your family roots gave to you, I will take from you. And what the ancient root, the eternal root of Yahweh gives, I will give to you. Do you know what you are preparing for tonight? Stand up and say, yes, I know eyes have not seen, but I am preparing. Ears have not heard, but I am preparing. It has not been revealed to the mind, I am preparing. What is ahead of me that are beyond me? What is ahead of me? What is ahead of me that is beyond me? What is ahead of me that is greater than me? What is ahead of me that is stronger than me? What is ahead of me that is more powerful than me? What is ahead of me that is higher than me? What is ahead of me that is deeper than me? Say, I am ready. Tonight is my readiness. Lord, tonight is my readiness. My being here tonight is a proof that I am ready. I am ready to be promoted. I am ready to be lifted. I am ready to be transformed. I am ready to be forgiven. I am ready to be changed. I am ready to be lifted. I am ready for a turn around. Speak it as the Lord. I am ready. Power belongs to you. Power belongs to you. 
Labrakna Dosoto. In heaven and the earth, Labrakata. All power belongs to you. Ah, power belongs to you. Power belongs to you. In heaven and the earth, all power belongs to you. Say, I'm ready, Lord. Power belongs to you. Power belongs to you. In heaven and the earth, Kalaboshaka. All power belongs to you. Kalabrakata. Victory belongs to you. Victory belongs to you. In heaven and the Lord. This is somebody in this house. Let your angels come. Let your presence come. Let your fire come. Let your power come. Let your glory come. Let your healing come. Let your forgiveness come. Let transformation come. Let the encounter that changes life. Power belongs to you. It's more than you know. It's greater than you know. It's higher than you know. It's deeper than you know. It's larger than you know. It's wider than you know. Oh, it's richer than you know. It's wealthier than you know. If you knew the gift of God. 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 There is healing in the gift of God. If you knew the gift of God and he that is asking you for a drink, you will have asked him and then he will have given you life giving water, life changing water, life healing water, life enriching water, life lifting water, life turning water. If you need the gift of God, Lord, reveal what is ahead.
That are ahead of you. Labra Kando, Sikatala, Lebra Kato, Malabra Kato, Lamasa, Lamaso Prekata, Lamasikata. What are the things that are ahead of you? Lebra Kato, Lebra Kato, Lemakata. When the woman met Jesus at the well, she did not know what was ahead of her. Labra Kando, Soto Prekata, Lemakato, Lamasikata. Lama Soprekatea. When the woman be seated, be seated, we are still praying. Lata pro lata. The woman came to the well to fetch water, but did not know what was ahead. Labra Kando Soto Prekata. So, Mfon, what is ahead of you? You may not know. Sikata Tata. Ini, what is ahead of you? You may not know. Neka, what is ahead of you? You may not know. But just get ready. Because God has something ahead of you. In case you doubt, consult the woman of Samaria. You cannot be, you cannot be in an encounter with the Holy One of Israel and not have things ahead of you unfolding in the present. There are things ahead of you, but they happen when you have encounter with them. The things that have been ahead of you, they come into light in the place of encounter. The things that are hidden from your eyes and ahead of you, they are brought forth into manifestation in encounter. And when you have encounter, you experience things that are ahead of you. Lasikatatata. La Soto, La Makata. So the future is breached and reduced in time and space to the present by encounter. Alaboshata. This the future becomes an experience when there is an encounter. La Masekato, Lima Sikato, Lebrakanda, Lema Sotoma, Lebrakata. Things were ahead of the Samaritan woman. She had no idea. All that was required was an encounter. Lema, a meeting. And tonight there is a meeting in this house. Malabashata. Tonight I announce to your kidney. I announce to the colon cancer. I announce to your bone. I announce to your eyes. I announce to your root. I announce to your foundation. I announce to the foul spirit operating against you that tonight. Night, uh, Jesus is in encounter. Jesus is available in encounter. Jesus is available in an encounter. And the future is an experience. The future becomes an experience when encounter happens. Kata Labrakanda. Malaboshia Kata. Lema Kata. Limasata. So how do you drag the things that are ahead of you into the present as an experience encounter? Limakato. An encounter is face-to-face -face meeting. Lambakata with another. 
Latopele makatata toto. Encounter is a confrontational experience. Yaka prala kata is frontal meeting. Libra kato toto. Encounter is collision. Liamasa tata is jamming something. Makatata is collision. Namasikata. Encounter is eruption. Malakata. Encounter is a sudden manifestation. An epiphany. Mando topre. The self showing of God in the condition of man. The self showing of God in the circumstance of man. Tonight there is an epiphany in your life. Tonight there is an eruption. There is the eruption that will bring about disruption. Eruption of grace that will disrupt sorrow. Eruption of grace that will lead to the disruption of shame. Eruption of grace that will lead to the disruption of barrier. Eruption of grace that will lead to the disruption. Take some time out. Get out of your seat and just say, Lord, if you don't collide with me, I collide with you. I know you are in this place. I know you are in this place, sir. If you don't jump in, I jump in your heart. If you don't touch me, I touch you. But there must be encounter. Labrakata, labrakmando, labrasikata, tata, malabo siprekata, leato, masikata. There must be encounter. So, Lord, in case uh, you are thinking of not touching me, I am thinking of touching your labrakanda. So, Lord, in case uh, you are thinking of not talking to me, Lord, I am thinking of talking to you. Labra kasa to labra. Lord, in case uh, you, are talk, you are thinking of not holding me, I am thinking of holding you. I am ready to hold you. Ah, ala ta 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 ta. Labra kata. Malabra kando. Sakata. Labra kapole masakata. Malabo shepre kata. Malabra kata labra kanda. Malabo shekata. Lama sikete lebra kato. Mende pre yala kata masoto. Manda pre liatoma. Lama sekata. Malika toto. I shall not see death. Lama kato pre kata. Until my eyes have touched la kata. Lama kata ta pra kata. This is the wish of Simeon. Simeon knew something was ahead. Labrakata, labrakata. Simeon knew that there was something ahead. Labrakanda sakata. Simeon knew there was something ahead. Labrakata yakata. Simeon knew that something was ahead. Lakata, labrakata. Lebrakato masiakata. Simeon knew that something was ahead. And he said, I will not see death. Until my eyes, uh, I uh, my eyes have seen uh, Labrakando, Shakata Tata, Labrakapo Labrakata, Lama Supreknanda, Lasikata, Labrakata Labrakato, Lama Sikata, Labra, Labraknando, Marabrakato Labra, Mando Prekata, Mando Prekata Labrakata, Mando Toprekata, Mando Preknanda. Lakata ta 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 ta, malabrakata, labrakata la masondo, eh, lebreyando to, malakata, malabrakato, lekete masipre, loma to preyakata, mandata masipre lete, who is talking, labrakata, say Lord, let what has been ahead come forth, I know there is still a there are, there are things ahead of me. I know there are things ahead of me. There are voices ahead of me. There are liftings ahead of me. There are certificates ahead of me. There are credentials ahead of me. There are blessings ahead of me. There are liftings, there are opportunities, there are joys ahead of me. I wonder if not. Asatata, lakata, a short of I love you. Lakata, tata, shakata, labrakman. Labrasa, prekata, labrakmana. Lakata, 
I want more of you, Lord. I want more of you, Lord. Set a fall down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Set a fall down in my soul that I can't contain and that I can't control. I want more.
In the name of Jesus Christ. Very soon we will start praying. Be seated very soon. Let's drink. When the woman went to the well, she didn't know what was ahead of her. Lakata masoto prekato. Le masoto malakata prelepo si malakata. Londo to mesi prakato. Le te masikato. Mando pre masundo toba. The woman was going to the well. Le makato. She did not know what was ahead of her. Le makato mesi prakanda. Limaso, verse 7, Mando to pray. John chapter 4, verse 7. Lakata maso. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. Labrakanda. Give me a drink here yeah, is supposed to be a preparation and readiness for what is ahead. Lakata. Now you see that I told you that giving is free in the administration of heaven, but receiving goes to the protocol of paying the price. Landa kato for every receiving there is something expected of you. La masikato masikato le brakata le masomando prekata. Every act of faith is an is a costly act. Le masondo la brakanda le atopre. Jesus came to give free water. La makopele anda to give free life to the Samaritan samando. Beginning with this woman, but there was a demand. Give me water. La to masikate le makapro la kati masondo. Give me water. Masi prekato la masikete. Give me water. Mali. Give me drink. La boshata. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Man sondo pre le kata. The woman of Samaria said to him, How is it that you, being a Jew, ask a drink from me a samaritan woman for jews do not have dealings with samaritan see and doctor prekata lema kata jesus answered and said to her lima if you knew the gift of god man de prakata in other words if you knew what is ahead of you malak nandasi katata you will hurriedly mercy and doctor pray use the opportunity of giving me a drink to ask me la masikato so sometimes real asking is giving la giving of time like this na labra kama so giving in sacrifice like this and giving in in, in in, in substance, Lakata. He said, if you knew the gift of God uh, and that every gift comes to you in exchange for another gift, you will have asked me by giving me this water. You will have asked me, say, okay, give me living water. Lakama Soto. Because what is ahead of you, woman? What will change your story? Can I tell you what is ahead of you is what will change the, the current story of your life. What is ahead of you is what will change your current circumstance. What is ahead of you is what will lift you. What is ahead of you is what will change you. What is ahead of you does not leave you the same way you are. When you enter into what is ahead of you, you go ahead of you. Labra Kanda. You, you, you go ahead of your current situation. You go ahead of your current circumstance. Once you, once you receive what is ahead of you, once you touch what is ahead of you, instantly you are transported ahead of you. La Makata. That means you go beyond you. You go beyond your limitation. You go beyond your story. Your, you go beyond your history. Your history keeps you for as long as you have not entered into what is ahead of you. And just can say, if you knew the gift of God, the gift of God is what is ahead of you. And Paul said, all I do is I let go what is behind me. And I reach forward for what is ahead of me. What is ahead of me that will change my story. Tonight, <laughs> you will stretch beyond you. By the power of encounter tonight, you will be transported. 
You be transported like kata. If you knew the gift of God, lama sikata la brakata, and it happens in the place of encounter, lama sikato lo brakata, le masikando to brakata, lama so mende brakata. Let me let me share this with you. We are done. We are done. We are done. Masikanda la brosikata. We are talking about preparation. Mande kata. Preparation is readiness. Masondo. The God has been waiting for you to prepare to get ready for what is ahead of you. Genesis chapter 33. No, Genesis chapter 32 from verse 22 to 31. Malabrakanda. Genesis 32. Malabrakata masotopre. Verse 22 to 31. Lakata. Let's take Let's talk about one night in the life of a man, Le Makato, and the power of preparation, the power of encounter following readiness in preparation. Lakanda. And he arose that night. He and Jacob arose that night. Jacob arose that night and took his two wives, his two female servants, and his 11 sons, and crossed over the fort of Jabok. The, first, the fort of Jabok, he crossed in Labrakanda. He took them, sent them over the brook, and sent over what he had, Lema Katata. This is preparation for encounter. You do not wait, you do not have encounter until you send away unnecessary things in your space, Alakata. Things that will, people, circumstances, attitudes, dispositions, Langatum and stories and Akateata, memories, Latemeketo, that will occupy the space that the encounter needs to, to take in your life. See and that. Jacob knew that his time had come like Simeon in Labosha Tamunda. In Luke's Gospel chapter 2, Masikata, how Simeon just walked in Makato Prekata, Lemakato. Before we come back to Genesis 32, let's take something from Simeon Mandata Labra. Simeon in Luke 2, Luke 2 verse 25, and behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this this man was just and devout, uh, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him, and it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit uh, that he will not see death uh, before he had seen the lost Christ. Uh, though he was old, uh, but he will not see death uh, until something. I don't know. It is only by the help of the Spirit uh, that you know uh, that there is something ahead of you uh, that you will not die uh, until you touch it uh, that you will not end uh, until you become it it is by revelation it is by revelation so Jacob knew by revelation that he will not die until there is a change of status that he will not die until there was a change of name so that time had come uh, and he knew by revelation Jacob was a man blessed by God uh, because his father had given him the blessing that was not his own but God had confirmed it uh, and Jacob was adopted by God uh, for the furtherance of the blessing the covenant grace uh, in the life of Abraham uh, and he has seen the ladder that extended to the heavens uh, and the angels ascending and descending and he had been given the command uh, to bring forth the blessing of Abraham to the kingdom dimension and so he was a man of revelation when Joseph was born he knew by revelation that something had happened in his life a turning point had come and he told Laban let me go let me go back to my household let me go back to my father's land let me go back to the home of my people for I have served you this long he was a man of revelation he knew by the arrival of Joseph that the fullness had come and there was a spilling over and it was time to go I hope you are here by revelation I hope by revelation you know there is something coming ahead of you I know by revelation you know there is something 
something ahead of you i know i hope by revelation you know it's time to let something go it's time to let a useless relationship go it's time to send useless things away so that there will be a space for encounter many times you wait for encounter but encounter does not happen because this wife is still with you the other wife is still with you the other people are with you the other husband is with you and the other husband and the other attitude and the other so by revelation jacob knew just like by revelation simeon knew labraclando so he came by the spirit into the temple and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the Lord he took him up in his arms and blessed God saying Lord yes now you can let your servants go in peace according to your word why for my eyes is a night somebody makes a, a destiny covenant my eyes will not see death until I have touched what is ahead of me no my eyes will not see death until I touch what is ahead of me in this call what is it that is beyond me in this call what is it that is ahead of me in this call my eyes will not see death until I see my eyes will not see death and it's proven through my life that the God of Israel is our God that the one who parted the Red Sea is still alive that the one who spoke from the cloud is still the same God that the one who rained the manna is still the same God that the one who turned the Mara into sweetness is still the same God that the one who parted Jordan the same God La Katata La Atata ubonu katala brakato ubonu shakata atata ubonu shala brakata prele ayene Christ all lasi brakato ubonu this is meant for you to pray atata you can rise and join him with somebody i say i agree with you your eyes will not see that just as my eyes will not see that until i have seen that until i have seen 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 i will not fail i will see i will not die I will see her. I will not give up. I will see her. I will not fall apart. I will see her. I will not fall short. I will see her. I will see her. I will see her. I will see what is ahead. I will see the next level. I will see the next level. I will see the next level. Halabasha. Labrakata. Labrakata. Labrasebrakata. Malabrakata. I will see that. I will not see that until I see. I will see. Shala brakata, la brakato masoto, malabraknanda, la sikato prelikata, la masoto masibrakata, malamaso preknanda, la masoto prelikata, la masoprayanda kata, la masoprayando to, la masiprekata. 
Lana so no to prekanda, Lama si ando to prekata, Malama so prekata, Malabra kanda, Laka to prelekata, Malabra kapo so prekata, Malabra kanda, Laka to maso prekata ya, Lama so prekata. I will not see shame. I will see glory. I will see. I will not see shame. I will see the manifestation of glory. I will not see death. I will see brilliance. I will see. I will see. I will see. I will see. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I will see the blessing of the Lord in the land of the living. I will see Lama Soto Brekata, Lama Sikata, Lama Soto Brekata, I will see Hadakata, Lama Soto, Lama Sikata, For my eyes have seen your salvation. Say, I will not see death until I have seen fully what is ahead of me. The salvation ahead of me. The glory ahead of me. The blessings ahead of me. The, right, the righteousness, the holiness, the different dimensions of anointing, the different dimensions of expression, the different dimensions of exaltation, the different expressions of a power. There is a there is an encounter for you. Malabrakma. The God of encounters. Malikatatata. The God whose spirit happens to us, Lakata. Whose spirit brings brilliance, Lakata. The God whose spirit brings glory, Lakata. The God whose glory, whose spirit brings kavod. In the name of Jesus Christ. They said, Jacob sent everything away. At this point, you begin because we are winding down. Lakata, Libra Kato Masikata, Lama Soto Prekata. At this point, we are winding down. It is time to send away. What are the things that are occupying the space that encounter demands of you? Labrakanda. He crossed over the ford of Jabok. Labrakata. He took them, sent them over the broker, and sent over what he had. What is it that you keep that you must send over? What are the useless things? What are the unprofitable things? The things that will not help you. Just guys said the flesh has nothing to offer. What are the things of the flesh? The wives were the things of the flesh. The children, the servants, all of them were flesh. Only by God will Jacob be transformed. What is it that the arms of flesh have provided you? What is it that, that the, 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 the economy of life, the science of nature have brought to be in your life? What do you trust? What do you depend upon? What is it that is occupying the space of God in your life? What is making God have narrow paths? 
paths in your life? What is denying God of the highway in your life? What is denying God of the broadway in your life? It is time to let go. Because encounter goes through protocol. Readiness has preparation in it. And preparation has to do with letting go somehow. And I say, ah, strengthen the path that is crooked. Labracata. Level what is high. Lekata. Feel the, what is what is like a valley. Labraka. Make smooth. Make a highway for the Lord. Make smooth what is rough. And then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. It is a matter of making a highway for God in the desert. God will not walk in a narrow path in your life. God says send them away. Send things away that reduce the highway of God into a narrow pass uh, that th the thing that reduce uh, the highway of God into a narrow path what is your trust upon what is your hope upon what is your faith upon verse 25 La verse 24 la katata then Jacob was left alone and sometimes one walks away from everything in order to be alone God is looking for somebody left alone somebody left alone without the help of man somebody left alone without the help of medicine somebody left alone without the help of girlfriend without the help of boyfriend without nothing to depend on no pleasure to count upon no resources to trust no political father to depend on no one one who is left alone is a candidate for the encounter that changes name ah until he was left alone lasikato labrakato this is a word for somebody send things out of your mind send things out of your emotion send things out of your imagination send things out of your conception send things out of your location send things out of your accommodation send things out of your circumstance send things out of your environment send things out of your faith let it be alone for God let your heart alone for God let your spirit alone for God let your body alone for God God. let your body alone for God let your life alone for God let your household alone for God and when he was alone a man so tomate pray a man like a mato men they pray a man wrestle with a man to pray kata masika being alone gave a man or opportunity to occupy him in a fight like a Tomasata. Why you have not yet fought the fight of destiny? Why you fight only your wife and nothing has changed? You fight your husband, nothing has changed. You fight your friends, nothing has changed. You fight witches and wizards, nothing has changed. It's because you are not yet alone. The one who will change you does not have a space to fight you. The one who will lift you does not have a space to occupy you to engage you and it's waiting for you to let them go let them go let them go until you are alone when you are alone heaven is available when you are alone a man the fourth man was in the fire because Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were left alone in the fire he said Lama soto prekata, lakata tata labra, lema kato. If you like sleep, I come to you in that sleep. Malakatoto, lama kata. I bring a man into your sleep to fight with you. Lakata tato masata. I bring a man into your dream to fight with you. Lama kando. I bring a man into your trance to fight with you. Lakata. If you are in witchcraft governor, I bring a man there. Lakata. If you are kept in the mar. In Koban, the man is there like a ta 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 la macando sort there in ancestral prison. The man is there like a ta la bracata in secret court. Koban, the man is there wherever your location is. 
the man is there labrakata tonight uh, the man comes through uh, the door whether it is closed or open when the man comes uh, he does not need a door to be open for he passes through obstacles uh, he passes through kingdoms uh, he traverses kingdoms uh, he passes through kingdom the prince of Persia cannot hold them the prince of Persia could hold uh, the uh, the mic the angel that was sent uh, lakata to makata lakata le makata from alato the angel that was sent uh, for daniel but the prince of persia cannot hold this man if you are in the dream uh, the man will come to your dream now if you are in the marine kingdom the man is there if you are in the skies uh, the man is there if you are in darkness uh, the man is there if you are in the hospital the man is there tonight uh, there will be fight uh, tonight uh, there will be wrestling tonight uh, there will be contention the one that will change your name the one that will change your destiny the one that will change your direction the one that will change your location I say let the man rise uh, let a man that will change your life come into your life uh, let the wrestling begin let the wrestling begin. Let the wrestling begin. Let the wrestling begin. Let the fight begin. The fight that will change your life. The fight of faith. The fight of faith. The righteous contention. The righteous wrestling. The righteous invasion. Generation Lakata Tata after generation Lakata Brakan Doctor Brakata keep praising you Kalabrakata but no one sums you up Lakata Brakata and I ask the Lord Manda Brahma Soprakata what name fits you Labrakata Labrakata and he says yeah we are in the administration of a man a man that comes in the night uh, looking for the one who is left alone no one to help me or uh, no one to lift you uh, no one to change you uh, the man uh, in john chapter 5 the man came to a man that had been sick for 38 years uh, and he asked the man do you want to be made whole and the man that had been sick for 38 years says sir there is nobody to help me and he said he said i am the man who comes into your dream and fights with you and everything changes i am the man who comes into your night and wrestles with you and the morning will see you with a new name i am the man that brings a new name i am the man who brings what is ahead to your present i am a man the man that brings your new season the man that brings your new season the man of your new season I am that man. My name is Jesus. I am that man. My name is Jesus. The man that brings your new name. The man that brings your new season. And I ask the Lord, what name fits you? And he said, Yeah. Ah, Say, I am ready for the man. I have fought my father but my life has not changed i have fought demons my life has not changed i have fought dragons my life has not changed i have fought lions my life has not changed there is a man after which after fight with whom my life will change a man that when i'm done fighting with him nothing will remain the same and I ask the Lord, what name fits you? And he said, yeah, yeah. Shut up, Relakata. And a man wrestled with him until the breaking of the day. Ah, Alabashatata, Lakata, Tata, Say, I am tired. I am tired. I wrestle with my destiny changer until it is done. Lakatatata. 
begin to speak in the Holy Ghost. It is time to wrestle. Lakata, labrakata, This is time to wrestle. This is the night of destiny wrestling. Right now, in the witchcraft coven, the mind is fighting. Right now, in the marine coven, there is the wrestler. The man is in the family compound. The man is in the bedroom. The man, the man is everywhere. Wherever you've gone to, the man is there. The man is here to stay. The man is here to change. The man is here to lift. The man is here to command. The man is here to orchestrate. The man is here to turn around. The man is here. in your life. The man is breaking limits in your life. The man is breaking shame in your life. The man is pulling down a strong stronghold. The man is uprooting trees. The man is clearing mountains. The man is clearing caves. The man is changing story. The man is wrestling. The yokes are broken. Demons can no longer stand. Ancestral powers can no longer stand. Limits are broken. The man, the fourth man in the fire. The man, the life changer. The man is in your dream. Is in your finance. Is in your business. Is in your office. Is in your job. Is in your woman. Is in your marriage. Is in your children. Is everywhere. Pick up your microphone and begin to speak in the whole world. Pick up your microphone and begin to speak in the whole world. Let's go, 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 let's go
one, turn to your feet and give him thanks. Because you will experience him as the Most High God. Thank him because indeed you will have encounters of God as the Most High God. As Most High over that circumstance. As the Most High over that pain. As the Most High over that reproach. As the Most High over that shame. Give him thanks and praise because you are walking into an experience where God is the most high. The most high over your family. The most high over your ancestry. The most high over that limitation. The most high over that obstacle. Be intentional. Let heaven hear you because in need you will have encounters on this ground as Yahweh is the most high. You will have encounters over that report because Yahweh is the most high. Give him thanks because you are moving forward because Yahweh is the most high give him thanks because what man in front of you is coming forth and you are touching it by experience because Yahweh is the most high give him thanks sir, because your story has just begun and there was evening and there was morning today is the first day of your health sir. today is the first day of your breakthrough today is the first day of your new release. Give him praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everlasting Father, we thank you. Oh, let everything that was in front of us that we were not aware, Lord, by encounters, let it begin to manifest. In the name of Jesus Christ, as we go to rest, Lord, our eyes are open to see. Our ears are open to hear clearly. Our minds are open to understand clearly. In the name of Jesus Christ, no one shall miss their encounters. No one shall miss their own experience. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we bless your name. Thank you for what you have started to do. Thank you because we enjoy that experience. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As we share the grace in fellowship, now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. For surely God's goodness and mercy are following us all the days of our lives. And we are dwelling in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please, as we retire, ensure, try as much as possible to maintain a calm spirit so that you can hear from God. We reconvene at 8 